Okay, so we're gonna start with the basics of statistics. All right, so I don't anticipate this lecture being too long. Um, this is more like supplemental information. There's not really too much research on uh, the actual MCAT, but we'll go through some of the things that I thought uh, were the highest yield um, in terms of this topic. Um, so the measures of central tendency, I'm sure you've all learned them a bunch of times, but we're just gonna go over them. Uh, the mean is the average of the sample. So the mean is calculated by summing all of the values in a set, um, in a given set, and then dividing that sum by the number of values in the set. So if you have a data set with 10 values, you add them up and then you would divide it by 10 and that would give us the average of all of the values. Um, so remember the MCAT will always give you numbers that can be manipulated easily without a calculator. So there is a chance that you may have to do some light math, especially on like the physics section, um, you may have to take an average or something like that. But anytime they give you math uh, on the MCAT, it's something that you can either do in your head or something that you could do very, very easily with scrap paper. Because remember, you have um, it's sort of a notepad, like a white notepad with um, a marker, like a laminated notepad with a marker. So any any sort of math problem that they give you, you should be able to do fairly simply. Um, mean is one of them. You're just summing and dividing. Uh, so the median is the middle value in the data set. Um, it's the middle number in a set with an odd number of values. Uh, and it's the average of the two middle values in a set with an even number. So if you have an even number, then there's not going to be one specific value that's smack in the middle of both. So that would be considered like the 50th percentile. But if there's an even number in the set, there's only going to be two values right in the middle. So you would just have to average that and that and that value that you get from that average would be your median. Um, so because of that, the median isn't always necessarily a number that's part of the data set. Um, but if you have an odd number of values, then it is. It would just be the middle number. And the median is also known as the 50th percentile and the second quartile. And we'll talk a little bit more about percentiles and quartiles um, in a few minutes. So the mode is the most frequently occurring value in a set um, that is exactly what it is. It's just whichever occurs most often. Uh, when I learned what mode was, MO most often. Um, if no value occurs more than once, then there's no mode. And if multiple values occur the most at the same frequency, there are multiple modes. So if there are two values in the set that appear three times each and that no value appears more, then there would be two modes. Um, and if there are no duplicates throughout the set, there would be no mode. Okay, so we're going to do a, just a round of a couple of review questions right now, just because this stuff can be kind of cut and dry. So I want to make sure everybody's on the same page. Thankfully, 100% of you said A. Um, so A is, in fact, the correct answer. Um, yeah, it's just uh, basic math. So I'm glad you guys got that right. Uh, 60, 60, 60, 180, 65, and 55 is another 120, which is 300. So 300 divided by 5 gets us 60. Um, so that, that's really the kind of math that you'd probably see on the MCAT. They might be maybe a little bit more complicated, but you're not going to get anything super crazy. Okay, another question. Looks like 100% of you said 60, C, which is the correct answer. So I remember median set, um, if you're trying to find the median of the set, uh, you just have to remember to put them in ascending order. So we would reorder this from 55, 60, 60, 60, 65. Um, and since it's an odd number, we would just do the middlemost number, which would be 60. And there's our median. Um, doesn't seem like anybody had any real issues with that. So we're going to move on to our last question of the set. So again, 100% of you guys said 60, which is B, which is correct. So awesome. A group of five students, again, measured their heights for the class project. After completing the measurements in inches, they put values to the set. Um, so for the mode, again, we're just looking for the most often, 60, 60, 60, it's 60. 